Let's press R and uh, all the pros play. Let's do this. It's, it's something that you have to be passionate about, and when you're passionate about something, you take the L's, use that as fire, and then you continue to win. It's always the failures, it's always the losses that teach you more about yourself, that make you more relentless towards your actual goals than just winning. So uh, just don't give up and keep progressing and just know that you got to give in your 110% every single day. For years, I've done the best. Winning is, winning is everything. Myself, they call me J-O, and to the easy E yeah. huh. Know that we undefeated, y'all are beneath them speeds Let's find an air of grievance, but his lines are overhead Better check the air for clearance, call the tower This is our credit, he the air apparent uh -huh. Really, I never been better, yeah. legacy, this is forever What is going on guys? Dodge but we have a patch and today is show day. Um, I had a pretty decent sleep but so the way obviously there is a little bit of excitement and all that but I pretty much had a, like a nice six hour sleep um, which is good because the more I sleep that's how I dry out so I wish I could have got like maybe one or two hours more but if I was sleeping for 1-2 hours, I know with the excitement and the brain activity and everything, I wouldn't have been able to, you know, I couldn't sleep for more than 2 hours. So, but I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm grateful, and uh, I've been doing all the work for the last year, and especially for the last year, and for the last year, you know, so many sacrifices and suffering, and, um, like a lot of sacrifices and all that is now come down to arch kya 10 second in the on the stage literally we do this for 10 seconds of the clip my alarm is going on now um it's my meal alarm so we're starting the day off sawa paanch baj rahe hain mujhe host hotel jana hai to hum log yahan pe pack karke sara we're gonna leave in like maybe like 20 30 minutes as soon as possible we can't eat khane ke baad bas meal ke baad i'll pack all my meals like as much as i can so um, for until the show time, during the stage time, custom on, and maybe a little bit some extra stuff just so that if it delay um, during the show, after the show. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna pack all that stuff, maybe a couple pair of clothes, maybe a shorts and all that. Tried on the shorts yesterday, they're a little bit loose. For my quads, but pretty waist when they're good. These are custom signature shorts by Dark Sport. 
show you guys after when I could design kiya tha ye. Um, but the only problem is they're like I like them very tight on my quads so because my legs I want to show them so they're a little bit loose but the waist is good so it works out so what I'm going to do now is I'm eating cream of rice a little bit of blueberries a little bit of cinnamon and I'm going to do whole whole eggs and then I'll pack all these things with some protein, some rice, rice cakes, almond butter all of that so that I'm ready for the same time it's an exciting time, exciting day and it's the first time that this didn't start I just wanted to say thank you to all you who are supporting me and the ones who show love and the ones who have my back and the ones who get inspired and the ones who keep me inspired you know to keep doing this year after year it's not easy to be doing these many shows it's a grind, I love it and you guys make it easy so thank you for all the support let's go kill this, I feel good, I woke up on point I'm definitely full um, I have a little bit of water to lose which from 5 to 10, 5 hours is enough to get rid of that. So that's why we're keeping it clean. This is what I told you, my pancakes here. But when I woke up, I decided with my coach that that's sort of a point. I'm on point, so there's no point key, you know, to play with all these variables. So we're going to keep it clean, which is something I've never done. I think I've only done it I think one or two shows I've done it. So usually I'm always start in the morning. So let's get this going and uh, start this day off. Are you at the Denny's right now? Yeah, yeah, we're just paying right now. Okay, so I'll just come in there, or do you want me to go get my tan first? Because my tan is at 7. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to come here first. Where are you close okay. by? Yeah, yeah, I'm like two minutes away. I'll be there. Alright. Okay, yeah, I'll see you. Go from one hotel to tanning and things. <laughs> yeah. probably dead. <laughs> you know it's early when you tell us have a good night. Have a good night. He's waiting for the trip to be over again. Oh, coming yeah, together, I feel like it's been on point, on point. The energy will come, uh, so feel full, about to get checked out. Oh, yeah, you got the hot dryer. That's where Steve wanted you, right? It's good. Uh, yeah. Not too far, though. Right there. Like right, right there. there.
Yeah. Oh, you know what? I remember. You yeah. drew a beard. It's a thank everything. you, brother. <laughs> well, so next we'll year they just announced it's going to be back in Vegas. God, dude. So Literally, they just true. announced it. Yeah. God, it's back in Vegas. I'm like, every year they keep switching it. Hey, Jenna, how are you feeling? I'm good. How are you, baby? You're good. How are you? I was You're like, back. here. Get some I'm rest. Good. <laughs> See, I'm good today. I'm all smiles and I'm happy. <laughs> so much confidence right now oh I've had good energy all prep this time no pressure no stress um, this has been the best peak week for sure because I don't have any expectations but I do have the confidence that I did everything I could during this prep and I made it happen despite everything telling me not to do the Olympia like my situations my mind and my everything and I still made it which is what I feel very proud for and because I have that pride and I have that gratefulness I think this the whole pressure and this mental like block that I always had it's gone that's why I'm so chill so friendly and I'm just enjoying the moment like this is the Olympia that I've enjoyed the most without a doubt every day everything that I've done I've just enjoyed it and it shows everybody's been telling me that too. Like every guy I meet, every athlete, like it's, it's a different energy that I have this time. And I hope I can have the same energy and keep doing it and keep getting better. We have a lot of years left in competing and it's very important to keep enjoying this shit if I want to keep doing this for another at least 10 years. So I love this and I'm glad that I'm finally getting that happiness of doing this without the pressure. It makes a big difference. And that shows in my physique too. So that's what it is. You want to talk shit, talk shit. You don't have expectations, keep your expectations to yourself. Because all of that is just noise for me. And now that I don't focus on the external noise and I'm enjoying the whole competing, which got me into competing, it's a whole different feeling. And I love it. Turn me back. As soon as you really pull up in that, it just pops right there. Face forward. There. That's where you need to sit. Right there. Nope. Yeah. Good. You're on, man. Yeah. Feels good. You're definitely on. You can eat some. You can eat some a little bit. Get a little sodium with yeah. the sodium. Absolutely.
return appearance after two weeks. Though of this, I was like so exhausted, man, it's a bad thing. And they know they support me, they say they like it. They can go to my lifestyle and my mindset. They know that even though they want to talk to me, and they want to be there, but they also understand that I need to focus on how much I am suffering. I don't like to talk because when I am suffering, I don't want them, my parents, to know that I am suffering. So I don't like to talk because when I am suffering, I don't want them, my parents, to know that I am suffering. You know, किसी भी पेरेंट को अच्छा नहीं लगता कि यू आर सफरिंग उनको इतना कितने भी वो सपोर्ट है वो उनको ये समझ नहीं आता कि आप क्यों अपने आप को इतना टॉर्चर कर रहे हो राइट लाइक आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैम कि वो मेरे से आई डोंट वॉन्ट कि वो मेरे से ऐसे बातें करें इस टाइम पे जब मैं इतना ज़्यादा टायर्ड हूँ एंड ग्रॉज हूँ एंड ऑल्सो फोकसड हूँ और इरेटेबल भी हूँ एंड ऑल दैट तो आई रिजर्व इट फॉर जब मैं वेल फेड हूँ अच्छा हूँ तो किन सी मी हैप्पी यू नो तो हाँ बाबा क्या हो रहा है यस बेटा तेरा सब तैयारी पूरा हो गया है हाँ आपकी वीडियो नहीं आ रही है वीडियो नहीं आ रही है हाँ हाँ या 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 तो how are you feeling my dear good आप सब आओ मैं बस अभी जा ही रहा हूँ दस मिनट में पांच दस मिनट में चलो wish you all the best you are looking confident this time I'm too chill. This I have no expectation and I have no thing because जितना मैं work कर सकता था मैंने किया. Made it happen and now I'm just कि the only thing is like okay I'm gonna have fun, make experience the more full use of experience and I did everything to get ready. So now it's just about living and experiencing her moment go and then finishing it and then doing it all over again next year. No, I'm. I haven't. I mean, I'm. My mindset be different, and I actually do look good and flat. Did I definitely not flat? So yeah, it's. I did what I what could do. Okay, but you know this eating properly and all that thing and also properly better, you know. Okay, okay. I'm. 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 I'll keep going on saying that I'm just leaving right now. Just five minutes. Don't go bold, you know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
just enjoy. So that's what I'm doing. It's actually a good feeling, different feeling for myself. <laughs> Maybe it's the right thing. Uh, it's all good. Experience, experience, karo, and then we'll see next year. Keep getting better. Yeah. It gets more pressure when you start getting more like higher and higher ranked. So I'm like, eight time will be aga when I'll be like in that top five, top six, where it will be a lot of pressure. So why not enjoy this moment now? Because this moment kabi dubara nahi aega where I know ki you know I can't be in that first or second call out. So why not just enjoy? Because one time jab hoga, I'm hunga, then it will be stressful. So now, right now, I don't want to be stressful. Chalo. Chalo, we are all, uh, we are all uh, excited. Uh, and, uh, God, I'm going to say, 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 but anyways, it is all good. You, as long as you are enjoying it, it is all great. You love it. And, mm. Chalo, uske baan pe fit doing your, you will be out of prep, so you can focus on other things as well. That's what I'm going to do. Shalo, all right, Papa. Shalo, I'm going to go. Okay? Shalo, okay. Yeah, okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 All right, so, got the blessings. Now, we make this shit happen. Enjoy. Let's get this done. For the fourth time. This is the best one, actually. Char Bar Olympia Ganegi Bar, this is the feeling that I feel actually the best. Enjoying, calm, I'm just doing it for myself because I love this shit. Congrats, man. Happy for you. I know, um, you know, you, you, even though you won, uh, we could have done much better. Next time, I just wanted to ensure that you are getting proper sleep. Three hours of sleep is not going to cut it. And definitely never travel literally a day before the show. Okay, make sure you travel two days before. But this is something we're going to talk about later. For now, enjoy this victory. Enjoy a great meal. Super happy. I'm going on stage in an hour right now. So I'll be on stage for So I'm going to talk to you later, but enjoy this victory. Have a good meal. Have a good food. Tomorrow also enjoy. Make sure you hydrate yourself. And then we start our reverse diet on Monday. I'm going to send you your plan uh, probably sometime later tonight or tomorrow morning for me. But just chill. Enjoy. Make sure you're hydrated. Don't overeat. Take your digestive enzymes with every meal today and tomorrow. Have some good food. And uh, yeah, send me the pictures, send me your uh, pictures from the stage, send me comparison shots, whatever you have. And uh, yeah, I'm just headed to my, my show right now. So congrats, brother. My client just won. Um, um, first in fitness model, third in men's physique in Dubai. So it was super competitive. So I was coaching him when I was doing this Olympia thing, even right now and since the morning. And he won. So, you know, maybe I came not Come clients get this sal I have a lot coaching career sal because I wanted to focus. I was doing so many shows myself. But he coached me the loyal clients and Jinko Mene Rakap Nesat about the time. So uh, he was one of them. So I had to make sure that you know he peaks and while I'm doing Olympia prep, otherwise I would never do this. Um and then I've Kai Log Hand Jinko Mekam coach karo India Pro Show Klebi, which is also one of the reasons why I didn't want to do the India show so I can focus on them. They definitely have the potential to turn pro. But after this whole thing is done, my season's over finally, and I can focus on giving back to a lot of you, start coaching again, make my team, make my guys win again. We have a good team, we have a good streak of winning. But let's get that done, I'm gonna finish this. And uh, hopefully, in one hour, I get to poop. Because I haven't, and that's gonna get me dry, and that sucks, that's why I'm having this coffee, actually, to help, but it hasn't really happened. So I'm hoping in the next 30, 40 minutes it can happen. But I'm going to go to the stage and it's all go time. I'm excited. You guys can see I'm fucking full of energy. Let's fucking do this shit. Floor 
men's physique, but I just saw you. I'm like, I've been watching your videos, love how you train, your mindset, work ethic. I'm from India, and I'm the only one from India to go to the Olympia. So I hope uh, we as a country get to see you in India at some point, and uh, that will be amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Brent, what's up? What's up? What's up? That's another guy that I have watched a lot, and I've seen many videos. Like not pehle main aise train karta tha like very rough but ab to i can't train like that but i have respect ki best to train karne ke baad bhi you can be number 2 at mr olympia and consistently be number 5 so that can takes a long very strong mindset and it's all about the mindset body to theek hai ban jati hai but do it gets the mindset brand goes the mindset that's the shit that really inspires me so that's the first time i've seen him in person love this that's why i love this feeling of olympia
What's your thoughts on uh, what just happened? Uh, Korea. <laughs> I feel like this Olympia, this peak week actually, let's just say about peak week, I think that was the best, most calm peak week. Jitane bhi mein Olympias ki hai, sab sada calm. Well, not even Olympias actually, Jitane bhi mein shows kare hai. Like, of the 23 shows that I've done in my life, this was the most calm, relaxed, and just fun. I was during the peak week and I think that uh, and uh, I think it's a new way of thinking and I think that comes with uh, just the experience of competing for that long and also like taking the pressure off of you because uh, I think of all these years and what started as, as a passion for myself doing it for me and not for anybody else and not for recognition and not for other people and uh, just because I loved it and uh, I wasn't even on social media when I started doing all of this. I think somewhere down the line with everything that was affecting other people started affecting me and I was doing it not just for the internal pressure I had but I started having like big expectations and big pressure. And that pressure is great, pressure is amazing but then when pressure starts affecting your mind and your mental health, I think it takes uh, you in a very dark place and negative place and you start being, instead of being like super um, focused, you start thinking about the what ifs. And I think this prep, I didn't have that. I was calm and relaxed and I really loved it. So uh, it was a difficult prep for sure. I think right after the, uh, the whole thing that happened after last Olympia, uh, when you start, at some point it gets to you even though you believe in yourself you believe in your abilities confidence potential hard work sacrifices but when over and over repeatedly when logo ki expectations nahi aapse fit ho rahi aur wo sari apni life ki bhadas and expectations aap pe nikal rahe hain somewhere down the line you start believing them even if it's like a small percentage of people that are doing that. So I think for me, this whole year was a very fruitful journey and was a very great experience to kind of like go through all of that to understand that ki it was affecting me even though I thought it wasn't, but it was getting to me. At somewhere I was like thinking that, oh, uh, maybe I won't place well, or maybe I don't have the best shape, or maybe I don't, but then it all switched because when you get so much hate and you get so many people having great expectations of you because you're the only one um, from your country and they think that you're going to be Mr. Olympia which is just stupid to even think like that early on it's a very it's a, it's a big marathon it's not a sprint and I've been pretty uh, um, young in this marathon early in the marathon I think all the things that I had to do with my mental health was affected by 
and I had to go through a lot in the last like 12 weeks to make sure that I'm in my best mindset, best mental space and for that I had to really isolate myself, get a lot of um, help from uh, my close circle, from uh, sports therapists and uh, my coaches, like my current coach, my old coaches, people that I really trust to really find myself and like why am I all doing this and what is my potential and I think that helped a lot with this prep. So despite being in a tough prep, I think at the end of it, I have found what really takes me and uh, what I believe in. And I think Bosa Chize is what is really, really great for this whole prep. And uh, I'm very confident, I'm very calm, and I'm very relaxed. But at the same time, I'm doing everything in my power to make sure that I get to the top and keep climbing up the ladder. Now, as far as this prep goes, it was definitely the most relaxed peak week. It was tough prep with everything that was going on. But as far as my physical health goes, it was great. And my mental health also caught up in the last, I would say, six to eight. Fair five to six weeks, my mental health was also pretty good. Anxiety is nahi thi, chudu mein bohot thi. Itna aap ke, you know, hate mil rahi hai, aapne show jeeta apni ability ki wajah se. You know, you are you're consistently top two, top three in every pro show against the best. And even in the pro shows, you're on top two, top three, you're against the Olympians. And uh, somewhere down the line, it started like making me um, doubt. Yeah, am I really good? Like, am I actually this good? But or do I believe what people are saying? Because I did win it on my ability every show, and I have no doubt, and I have no regret, and I can say it, stand firmly that um, every show I've won is from my hard work and for all the sacrifices and things I've done. And I will continue doing that. Now, with after the India Pro Show and the last Olympia, a lot of that um, thing somehow got to me and I didn't realize how. And I was able to go through it and I'm very happy. And this prep was about that, to get over that, find myself and find my reason of why I'm competing and my love and passion for the sport. Which is why I'm happy with how this whole Olympia turned out. I had no expectation going into it because I knew this is the most competitive Olympia in the history of uh, uh, men's physique and everybody's getting for that spot and um, whatever placing I get as long as I bring a good package as long as I feel like I look good I feel, I'll be happy and I think I did that I wouldn't say that was my hundred percent but I would say that's definitely my 85 to 90 percent which is really good compared to my last Olympia which was I was probably like 75 percent because I was sick and pressure and all that stuff so I think this is great and I'm happy with how everything happened I'm satisfied and I'm actually proud of myself for what package I brought and how I looked. Now, this is a great experience and I'm fresh mentally as well as physically and I'm ready to make these improvements, get on my plan tomorrow, start the work and keep improving back on the size and get back on that stage. Whether I am 16th or whether I am 14th or whether I am 5th or whether I am 2nd or whether I am 10th does not really matter because I love this. I do this not just for the ranking, I do this because I love this grind and this lifestyle. Goal is obviously to be the best, to be at least in the top 10, top 5, top 3, that's the goal, but I know it will take time. My journey thi, it was fast, I turned pro within a year, I won my pro show debut within a year after turning pro, and then I went to the Olympia within like a year after, like two years within turning pro, and so it was very fast, things happened. And now it's taking a little time to get to the next goal, which is fine. That's just how life is and that's just how the sport is. But I know I will get there and I'm finally happy to be able to get my mind and my uh, mindset back. What are your next uh, plans for the next few weeks, months, years? Um, so uh, for me, I have a very wide frame and I've talked to the head judge, I've talked to obviously like, you know, uh, the vice president, I spend a lot of time there and after that, I get feedback that I have a wide frame, a lot of surface area is there, surface area is filled with furniture, like a room, a big room, a room with furniture, then the room will be complete. So for me, with all this wide structure, I just need to pack on more muscle and not just regular muscle, it's like dense, hard muscle. And it's time for that, and the other thing is that it's time for a long time for surplus. So that's my next goal. Um, 
I start my uh, off season or improvement season should I should say tomorrow which is Monday and uh, I'm very happy excited for that because finally after 16 months I can be in a surplus I haven't had an off season in 16 months because I was doing back to back to shows with health phases and preps and health phases and preps and then after India Pro Show my mental health was so affected that I didn't actually train for 4 weeks that I was focusing on my mental health not my physical health and now that everything is good and my mental and physical are like top notch and the goal is to pack on size, goal is to pack on muscle and uh, that's my goal for the next, uh, I don't know, like, you know, for a few months at least. And then as soon as I pack on that size, at least like, you know, six to eight to nine pounds of dense, hard muscle tissue is when I'm going to, when I'm going to think about my next show, what I'm going to do and I'm going to go because obviously the field is going to be very uh, competitive and shape and structure and conditioning and aesthetics is not enough. At the same time, you also need the required size in the right places. So, I got feedback that I got I need to fill out my lower lats and I need to fill out my upper chest, my just overall chest. So, that's my goal. I'm going to focus on two things for the next one for the next like, one year or two years. It's going to be like just my upper chest and my like just overall chest density and making sure that my lower lats and all my back workers are going to be all about just lower lats now because everything else is good that's the feedback we need to work on it and i'm happy ki mujhe surplus milega main apni strength pe focus karunga and i can also have like a balance in my life um you know all good gift time to my businesses my clients i'm going to start coaching more i'm going to start giving time to my family more and i can just have a proper balance i think for the last 16 months i've not had any balance in my life and at some point i think i missed that and this is a perfect opportunity for me to grow physically as well as all my other businesses and time and fun. So I'm super excited. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to bring something spectacular with the improvements that they want from me. Not me, not you, not anybody else, but what I was told by the judges. And that's what I'm going to do. Does any of the feedback get to you? No. After the India Pro Show, I saw nothing else that I ऐसे को ऐसे कुछ मैंने देखा नहीं कि अब मेरे को कोई कुछ चीज़ अफेक्ट कर सकती है सब कुछ जितना वर्स्ट टू वर्स्ट चीज़ें मेरे को बोल सकते थे जितनी भी चीज़ें गंदी अगली यू नो क्वेश्चनिंग माय एबिलिटी क्वेश्चनिंग माय लाइक दे देव डन इट ऑल क्वेश्चन माय पेरेंट्स यू नो देव डन एवरीथिंग देव लाइक डन एवरीथिंग all these haters and all these people who sit at home do nothing but just type 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 and these uh, people who just make these videos who do nothing have no idea about the sport just sit at home and doing that i think i have heard everything possible in the world that now no matter what and that's why this olympia i'm totally unbothered all i've been doing is celebrating i've been having fun i've just doesn't I'm just been laughing in some of the stuff I'm reading and enjoying time with my dark sport shoot enjoying time with all these Olympians legends talking to them they're all very proud of me they're all see the potential in me and that's all I really like about it it's that's the sport like you know network build relations and just be good to your competitors to your uh, you know past Olympians past legends and it's nice feeling to know that everybody feels you have potential and everybody like her commends you for the physique you brought and I'm very happy for how this Olympia went and what I've been talking to all these right people and uh, yeah totally unfazed and unbothered so go ahead and say whatever you want to say because nothing can get me to after the India and after the last Olympia nothing can shine or break me or even affect me any last message we keep working this sport is a marathon and I love this shit I do this for myself for nobody else because I love the grind and I love the hustle and I'm going to keep doing this jab tak mein andar ye passion hai jab tak mein ye sari sufferings and sacrifices happily kar sakta hu tab tak mein ye karunga and I will not stop until I get to the top now whether you want to support you hate that's up to you I will keep going and I'm not stopping for the next 10 years I'm not doing anything